I would like you to use all your powers of empathy and imagination to just imagine that you are this piece of paper. Notice the beautiful colors here, the full range of colors, nice, soft, and smooth. It's cool to the touch, the nice crisp edges, the sharp corners. Notice the noise that it makes in a breeze. So just become this piece of paper for a moment. All right? Now, <clears throat> did anybody want to build a relationship with me right then? Now, conventional wisdom among speakers is that it's a very stupid thing to start off with an audience doing an exercise that makes the whole audience either fear you or hate you, or in this case, both. But I wanted to do this to show you how one of your strengths, your ability to identify with something outside yourself, whether it's a patient or a simple piece of paper, can leave you vulnerable and defensive and can undermine your ability to build relationships and resolve conflict. And when it happens, it can happen just that fast. And when it happens, you don't have defenses, they have you. In my role as a judge that specializes in employment disputes, I almost never have to deal with pure legal issues. Parties have me as a part of their life, usually an uncomfortable part of their life, because somebody became fearful and got defensive. I would say in about 95% of the cases, that's what happens. When we get defensive, our thinking becomes very rigid and we become lousy problem solvers. And not only are we ineffective, but we invite everybody else that's in the room to get defensive and also become ineffective problem solvers. The point is, everyone has defenses. It's not a problem that we grew up with defenses. They were our shelter. They were our protection, and we needed them. The problem is when we let those defenses manage our lives as adults, when we no longer need them, what I've been talking about today is getting your heart and your head and your skills in alignment so it works together.